Hello friends, welcome to another topic. Have you ever care about HTTP while you are making applications or software? No, right? So you must know about what is HTTP. It's a very simple hypertext transfer protocol. But do you know how the different version of HTTP works? So let's discuss today. Let's begin. Today we will discuss what is HTTP and the evolutions of HTTP and how the different version of HTTP works. So let's start with HTTP. What is HTTP? HTTP is foundation of client server architecture client server this is server so this is the foundation of this architecture and this is a protocol of application layer which designed to transfer the data between client and server okay HTTP work on two models which one is request and second one is response. In request there are multiple parameters also there like URL. So URL is like uh, Google, Facebook, these are the URL and methods. We are basically the most popular methods are you know that get and post and delete these are the important methods that we are using in daily basis and the request header and request header and request body so these four parameters is important for one making one request okay and the same way the response is also have methods and url and the uh, header and body so this is how the HTTP we can define. So let's discuss the evolution of HTTP. Evolution of HTTP. So let's start. In 1991, HTTP 0.1 has able to call one method, and that is survive. In one, as a five year is experimenting as a better way to request and get response. So after that. HTTP 1.0 came to picture. So we can include headers and caching in this HTTP versions. Okay, so after that, within a one year, we face lots of problems, it's very slow network. So we switch to another HTTP version 1.11. 1.1. So in, in this version, HTTP introduced keep alive the TCP connections. Uh, in the previous one, it always kill uh, and uh, means close and open every time you made a request. So in 1997, HTTP 1.1, which introduced keep alive connection, the TCP connection keep alive the complete the request and response. Then, in 2009, Speedy has introduced by the Google which is uh, which is most important a uh, feature is compressions you can uh, compress your headers not only the bodies or bodies so in 2025 sorry in 2015 http 2 introduced the most i love i love this feature server uh, push and multiplexing so we will discuss this uh, this evolution and how it works. We will discuss now how HTTP work. Okay, so let's start with HTTP 1.0. As we have already discussed, like HTTP request max a request get and open the connection first, then get the response. And close the connection. So this is how HTTP 1.0 works. Like one TCP connection makes a request and get the response. Then the 
that is TCP connection is closed. Okay. So suppose we have the file HTML and second uh, is CSS and JS file and fourth one is suppose image JPG file. Okay. So this is the first one, uh, second and third and fourth file. So you have to act, uh, load to access the website, right? So suppose this one is HTML file, the index.html. So you have to make another another three call to get the website, right? So let's make a connection. This is CSS and you get the response. So this is uh, again like close and this is open the connection, open the connection and close the connection. In this way, this is JS file request and get the JS file response and open and this is close the TCP connections. So lastly you have to make another call for the PG file. This is jpg file you have requested and get the jpg file okay, as a response then just close and open the connection open and close the connection so this is the way http 1.0 works so for http 1.1 this is most survived protocol okay so this application protocol application layer protocol has survived uh, till uh, I think 20 years or 1997 to 2015 okay so this is the most acceptable you can say most acceptable uh, uh, protocol so let's discuss how it works so this is this protocol provides keep alive header understand so keep alive header what happens once open the connection and you you can make a request HTML file and get the response similarly css file and get the response similarly request for js file and get the response and uh, similarly the jpg file you can call your request and get the response then the tcp connection will close so this is how the http1 okay so this is how the HTTP one work. So the, 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 this is the most important feature. Keep alive. This is the most important feature of HTTP one point one. So that's why it's somehow it's fast and directly means instantly you can get the website view. So next, so next is one point sorry http 2 so let's discuss that so how the difference in http 1 and http 2 in http 2 what happened the same connections allow to do a request in a channel and a single channel so like this is the request for all the files html css js and jpg okay this this is the way uh, of request or in http2 for that so once you request, this is a channelize. This is the one channel requested and get the response in the similar way. The this is this this will be the uh, response. The question is how the server identify which request is for what. So this is here the introduce stream stream ID. So all the requests have different uh, unique stream id like this is was s1 this is s2 and this is s3 and this is s4 these are the stream id uh, pass when the request made okay so this is how http2 works if we talk about uh, the most important feature of 
HTTP 2 uh, that is uh, server push and another one is multiplexing. So as we discussed, this is a one channel to communicate and uh, to request and response. This is multiplexing. So this is one channel we can uh, directly means request as many uh, requests we can uh, uh, request to the server. So this is multiplexing. This process is called multiplexing and server push is uh, very smart as uh, like if we uh, so this is not actually default feature we have to configure in the server uh, like uh, you have to make a configuration in server side so suppose I call I will call and request the HTML file so your server uh, should and now smart to requ uh, what respond to all the supported file like HTML by default and all the supported files CSS and JS and your JPG file. So th this server push uh, is the feature which uh, smartly handle and one request mm -hmm. will make a one request but the response will get all the supported file. So this is server push. Now we will discuss uh, like HTTP 3 which is not uh, published yet, you can say not used by anyone but somehow I have uh, read some article and Cloudflare used uh, the HTTP 3 somehow but still the HTTP 3 uh, and the HTTP 2 what is the difference? The difference is like in HTTP 2 th this was the TCP and for HTTP 3 this connection is UDP. UDP. So the difference between TCP and UDP is another topic we will discuss and uh, TCP uh, and UDP is on the transport layer uh, uh, in uh, OSI model. So this is the fourth layer of OSI model. So we will discuss that and HTTP 3 is connects, connected over the UDP and uh, the Google also working on one uh, protocol that's Quick. So Quick is uh, Quick UDP Internet Connection. So this uh, also we will discuss what is Quick in uh, next video. So this is uh, how the HTTP uh, work. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and say uh, if you have any queries please don't uh, hesitate to ask please comment below and subscribe to uh, see uh, watch the similar kind of videos thank you so much